The banding station is where much of the data is collected. Since we first started opening our nets in 2003, the Pili Island Bird Observatory has captured more than 30,000 birds in our banding program. And we've documented more than 250 species. Each captured bird is fitted with a numbered band that goes around their leg. So the nice black and white warbler will get the right size band on her. So size zero okay, band, good. okay. And it's number 81 mm -hmm. from net 10 mm -hmm. and 89. Mm -hmm. 89. Open the band up with the pliers. It's the smallest hole on the set of pliers and then we can a good tight squeeze around the leg. Make sure there's no gaps in there. Looks good. good fit. The number on the band is recorded and details about the bird are sent to Environment Canada's bird banding office in Ottawa. If it's caught again at another banding station or recovered by the public, the band number indicates where and when the bird was originally captured. After they're banded, a series of measurements and observations are taken. The amount of fat on the body is observed by gently blowing on the chest feathers. Fat is what migratory birds use to fuel their lengthy flights. Little or no fat suggests the bird just arrived and needs to build up its energy reserves. A bird with lots of fat has likely been here for a few days and is getting ready to depart on the next leg of its trip. Then a series of measurements and observations are recorded, including the bird's wing length. This often tells us if it's a male or female because most male songbirds are larger than females. This would be a chestnut-sided warbler and has probably just arrived last night. We can see that it is a male just from looking at the plumage features. There's quite a bit of contrast in the wing between the different aged feathers and so we can quite comfortably refer to this as a, a second year bird. So it's in its second calendar year of life. It would have been hatched last year and then would have molted some feathers in the fall and now we've encountered him in the spring. Finally, it's time for the weigh-in. The bird is placed in a small tube on the scale to ensure it doesn't squirm around and throw off the measurement. When the weight is recorded, the bird is released. For an experienced bird researcher, the whole banding process might take no more than two to three minutes. But the information that's gathered during this short time goes a long way towards helping us understand the mystery that surrounds these ancient migration cycles. And it also helps us understand why we're seeing fewer and fewer birds every year. On days when there are lots of birds around, it's very easy to know why we're out here. But even on days that are quiet, we remind ourselves that that's important information too.